Hello again on Little Text. Now we have uh, Dr. Mansa, the CEO of uh, a wellness mantra brand called uh, Manarika. Um, hello, ma'am. Welcome to the Little Text. Um, this is uh, this is a platform where we want to talk about your journey and how has it been uh, an enterprising experience for you to be the, to the towards the entrepreneurship journey. A quick introduction would help us. Sure, thank you. Greetings everyone. Um, we have founded the company Invigorating Boon uh, and we have launched the brand Manarika. It's for the wellness of the society and uh, how we have come into this particular thing. Um, I worked as a teacher and then during the period of COVID, uh, I also was doing my PhD over breast cancer. I have worked on so many research papers and with so many people I have interacted and then we uh, really focused on uh, bringing out a drug molecule to treat a triple negative breast cancer cell line. Post which I was trying to find out which other cancers are causing major problems and death in women especially in India. And then we have come across endometrial cancer and cervical cancer and alarmingly every fourth woman dies of cervical cancer in India and the statistics is too bad to listen to. And the basic cause is the use of plastic in pads which is generating dioxin and that dioxin has a capacity to reach back to your vital organs and it's affecting the women. So whatever comes genetically may not be uh, avoided, but then uh, whatever we are causing to ourselves because of pollution, because of our lifestyle disorders has to be avoided. So we have come up with an alternative of menstrual cups which is already there in the market, but we have tried to get a process and product uh, certification and a complete validation of it. So you can use this particular menstrual cup for over 10 years and even if you have to burn it, you will produce only a little ash. So just imagine you're reducing so much of landfill. So please women come and join into this motion and come and use these products. And we have Stand and Pee, which we have developed so that you don't contract UTIs because of using uh, dirty washrooms out there. Pregnant women especially, please be careful when you're going to the movie theatres, you want to go out for travel, please use a stand and pee device and dispose it off. It wouldn't create much burden because it's decomposable. And then we have an intimate wash. Please avoid all the infections possible. Use the intimate wash also. Then we have also brought about a specific women product for your weight management. People who want to reduce your weight or those who want to manage their weight where it is kindly do exercise for at least 30 minutes a day and then you have a protein shake i wouldn't say you have to take all our products i would say you go for products which are ecologically friendly and please use them thank you thank you so much a doctor's advice is always important and with a well-researched doctor like yourself absolutely that's something that the women would definitely look at now how has it been for your journey of entrepreneurship what was the high point of your entrepreneurship or what was the most uh, in crucial part of it for you to take the decision that this is why I wanted to work, get into entrepreneurship? What was your journey? I'll hold it. Sure. So, uh, man's purpose of life is what is at most for everyone. So, um, I have worked as a teacher when I was having my kids too small with me. Then with the family, I have learned how to get along with people around me. Then I have worked in companies. Then I have seen people. Um, Everybody wants to find happiness, you know. Yeah. People find happiness in different uh, uh, things. So I wanted to find my purpose and my happiness and I found it here. So that's how I came here. And then uh, we have launched this particular wellness brand uh, to bring about sustainability, to minimize using resources, to get maximum benefits out of using little resources right. instead of, you know, wasting everything around us. Right and also causing very little very very little harm i wouldn't say we are not causing any harm but at least let us not imbalance the ecosystem and when it comes to the cosmetic range we have launched it means that you will apply a cream in the morning and then one in the night that's all to clear all your problems and if you have specific conditions which are related to psychology or which are too much related to your genes or to your medication you will have to consult the doctor but for your regular maintenance you don't have to spend uh, and bring heavens and earth together just for your regular maintenance please use products which are uh, free of uh, all kinds of harmful chemicals that will keep you safe and the environment also safe that's my request Great. to everyone around. Great.
So, uh, what would be your advice for the next generation of entrepreneurs if they want to get into business by itself? What would be your one advice? Yes, definitely uh, the one advice you will have to take is C. Here, when you are into business, people are the utmost um, cadre who are important for us. Then, please do not neglect environment and also make sure the numbers are matching up to your goals so without matching up your numbers you can't stand as an entrepreneur and also along with matching up the numbers please make sure you're taking care of your mother earth and then you are serving your uh, fellow people well wonderful wonderful sustainability in all aspects of life is what business is all about yes. congratulations on this wonderful journey that you have taken thank you so we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors thank and uh, all the very best again thank you so much thank for you. making me participate and be a part of this expo thanks thank you.